Prairie Dog Care, Part 2, Food. Here we have some examples of some Timothy hay. Timothy hay is the main bulk of their diet. This is what they would naturally get out in the wild. You want a nice quality that's not all broke up, nice and firm strands. You want to stay away from alfalfa because that is very fattening to a prairie dog. Here we have a vegetarian puppy chow. Uh, try to stick with a brand of vegetarian. Then we have here by Oxbow Bunny Basic Tea. The tea stands for Timothy Hay. Also there by Oxbow is called Prairie Dog Delight and that is more of a block. And we'll discuss the difference between the block and the pellets in a little bit. Here we have the pellets. And what is very important to understand about the pellets is that they will expand in water. So here I have a quarter cup of hot water with a tablespoon of the pellets. And in a couple seconds, this will expand into that quarter cup of water. The reason you need to know this is a little bit goes a long way because it will expand in their stomachs. I do like the pellets because I believe it has more nutrition for them than the blocks, but this is a concern to be aware of. So the reason I was showing you the expansion of those pellets is when that gets into their stomach, that will also expand in their stomach and they will occasionally regurgitate this. Um, it's usually because they're eating really fast or you've given them a lot. A little bit goes a long way. We feed our prairie dogs three times a day. They get a half tablespoon of the pellets. When they're pups, they get three to five pieces of puppy chow because they need a lot of protein that first year. After that first year, you want to back that uh, vegetarian puppy chow down to one piece with each meal. If you're going with the Prairie Dog Delight, the Timothy blocks, that's fine. Uh, that you're looking at, you know, two to three, you know how they kind of break up per feeding along with the protein. Now for snacks, good snacks are um, sweet potato. Cut about a three eighths inch chunk. Make sure you remove that rind and any eyes that may be in there. And then I, since I have four of the kids, split that in fours and they get that. Um, remember, their stomachs are little. If you have a salt block or mineral block, please remove those. Uh, their kidneys can't really handle it. After two years of age, they can no longer handle any type of dairy. So that includes any egg products, milk. If you know, you're giving them ice cream, please stop. As far as human snacks like peanuts and sunflowers and potato chips, all very fattening. Please avoid giving that to them if you want them to live, you know, past the age of, of three. So we'll go on to uh, other videos in a little bit.